Okay, now let's take a look at step number five, ePlan Efficient Engineering Installing Devices. So what can we do on that side? We, of course, have placed our devices here on the panel layout. Again, I'll show you very quickly. We have a very efficient way of looking at this. Um, when we look at the devices here, as we said before, we can activate a filter. On this filter, we can see if all the devices, in this case, we have a light that is still missing. That's about the only thing. And we can even, when we go on the panel itself, check out where the connections are. If we have the uh, right preview here, we can see if we are actually placed um, in the right position. We could actually get it closer if we wanted to, or just keep it you know, in that position. Wherever you place these devices will be where the device will be. This device, of course, has, behind the scene, has a part number and has a device tag. This is what is interesting on our side. So once the 3D is done, you can go and check out here the individual enclosure layout. And for this portion number five, I will create here a layout that has, it tells me the op, it's not up to date. I'm just gonna update it. It has a detailed view of every single device. I refer to the device tag so we can position and install the devices very easily. So of course, to start, I will actually look at the list here on the right hand side. I can see all my devices, all my part numbers, and I can see the device tags that have to be designated on each of these devices. Once this is done, now you can go back and actually go here on this side and place the devices as they show up. In some cases, you will have a little bit of a difficulty actually seeing the details. We can zoom in and generate a more detailed view. That's basically to place the terminals, although we already did the terminal, so it's most likely already done in the previous step. So this was a way to simplify and to help the installing of the devices by having a detailed view.